Total Pro Sports presents the 15 best NFL quarterbacks of all time. There is perhaps no greater and tougher question to ask as a sports fan. Who is the greatest quarterback of all time? San Francisco 49ers fans will say Joe Montana. New England fans will say Tom Brady. Green Bay Packer fans can say Brett Favre, Bart Starr, or Aaron Rodgers, or Brett Favre again. Well, we'll solve the answers for you. Here are the 15 best quarterbacks of all time. Number 15, Fran Tarkenton. One of the first true superstar quarterbacks played from 1961 through 68, and his better movements are remembered with the Minnesota Vikings, where he played his final seven seasons. Tarkenton was a nine-time pro bowler, had 342 touchdowns and over 47,000 passing yards, and is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Number 14, Aaron Rodgers. Chances are, by the time he retires, Rodgers will have cemented himself in the top five, but he has a long way to go. Through the 2015 season, he's only missed the playoffs once in his rookie season. He was a Super Bowl 45 champion and MVP. He won two regular season MVP awards and has passed the 32,000 passing yards mark. When all is said and done, he just might be the best ever. Number 13, Drew Brees. Brees has lived in the shadow of other quarterback greats who have played in his era, Favre, Rodgers, Brady, and Peyton Manning. But we won't overlook him here. When he's retired, he's going to come very close to reaching Peyton Manning's records of career touchdowns and passing yards. The Super Bowl 44 champion is past 60,000 yards and has 428 touchdowns as he heads into the 2016 season. Number 12, Bart Starr. Arguably the first legendary and iconic signal caller in the history of the NFL. Starr's legacy and impact on the NFL hasn't changed even though his last game was in 1971. With the Packers, he won five NFL championships and the first two Super Bowls. He was a four-time Pro Bowler and part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. A star he was, pun intended. Number 11, Roger Stoback. Stoback put the Dallas Cowboys, aka America's team, on the football map, and the franchise has never looked back. Stoback won two Super Bowls with the Cowboys, made it to six Pro Bowls, and led Dallas to three other big games they did not win. The Hall of Famer had 153 touchdowns and 22,000 passing yards. Number 10, Otto Graham. If not star, consider Graham as the first major superstar at the position. Graham played with the Cleveland Browns from 1946 through 55. It wasn't the longest career, but he accomplished a lot. He won three NFL championships and was a five-time Pro Bowler. He threw for 174 touchdowns and 23,584 yards. Pretty impressive for an era that wasn't as pass-happy as it is in the new millennium. Number 9. Dan Marino All he needed was probably two Super Bowls and he'd be much higher. But still, it's hard to overlook the accomplishments Marino had in the NFL. He played 17 seasons for the Miami Dolphins, leading them to a Super Bowl appearance in 1984 that they lost. But the nine-time Pro Bowler had 420 touchdowns and 61,361 career passing yards. Those are phenomenal numbers and good enough to make our top 10. Number 8. Terry Bradshaw Bear with us, Steelers fans. Bradshaw is a legend, but he wasn't the main reason they won those four Super Bowls in his tenure. It was the head coach mastery of Chuck Knoll and the Steel Curtain defense. Still, we won't take away Bradshaw's rings or iconic status. He still won two Super Bowl MVPs, was part of the 70s All-Decade team, and had 27,989 yards. Not bad for a Hall of Famer. Number 7. Steve Young So how in the world do you replace the greatest player in San Francisco 49ers history who led them to four Super Bowls? That's why Steve Young is a legend. He has three rings on his hand and was the MVP in Super Bowl 29. From 92 through 98, he made the Pro Bowl every year. He rightfully earned a place in the Hall of Fame. Number 6. Brett Favre Favre was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons, but cemented his legacy in Green Bay and finished it with the New York Jets and the Minnesota Vikings. His ability to move around the pocket was something to behold. He won three NFL MVPs, led the Packers to a pair of Super Bowl appearances, including a Super Bowl 31 championship. Had it not been for Peyton Manning, he'd be number one all-time in touchdowns, wins, and passing yards. Number 5. Johnny Unitas This is the real man who should be referred to as Johnny Football. His stats in the 50s and 60s were ridiculous. He had 290 career touchdowns, 40,239 yards, with a 78.2 passer rating. Unitas was a 10-time Pro Bowler, part of the 60s All-Decade Team, MVP, and won Super Bowl with the Colts franchise. Just imagine what he'd do today in an era that favors quarterbacks. Number 4. John Elway 
After Elway was selected first overall by the Baltimore Colts, he refused to play for them and got a trade to the Denver Broncos. No regrets. 300 career touchdowns and 51,475 yards aren't half bad. Elway lost his first three Super Bowls with the Broncos, but he finished out his career with a repeat of rings in Super Bowls 32 and 33. Oh, and he made nine Pro Bowls. Not bad. Number 3. Tom Brady A sixth-round draft pick in 2000 hasn't been bad after completing his 2015 season. Brady's won four Super Bowls. Two NFL MVPs is in the top five for all of the meaningful categories and has the most playoff wins ever. He's the only quarterback to have a 16-0 regular season and has clutched up the playoffs when it matters most. Number 2. Peyton Manning This guy is so good, his last season, which was statistically his worst, wound up being a Super Bowl championship. The Sheriff got it done with the Colts and the Broncos, winning a Super Bowl with each team. He has the records for most wins, most MVPs with five, the all-time lead in touchdowns with 539, and passing yards with 71,940. The way he changed and revolutionized the game was impressive. His football mind and dedication was impressive. He'd be the first ever without a question if it weren't for this guy. And number one, Joe Montana. Here it is, Joe Cool, the greatest of all time among players of all time. Here's the rundown. He won four Super Bowls. He never lost a big game. He never threw an interception in a big game. He was a three-time Super Bowl MVP. His 273 touchdowns and 40,551 yards is impressive enough. The Hall of Famer paved the way for legendary quarterbacks, and nobody is looking back. Which quarterback should we have mentioned on this list? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you didn't subscribe, now's a good time to do so. We upload 7 videos a week. As always, we thank you so much for watching.